Hi, this is John from Chicago. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm bringing you another video on the Mobula 6. It's, um, if you get a chance and you haven't seen them already, uh, look in the description below and I have a link to my uh, full review. Uh, one of the questions that I'm getting in my comments is which one do I get? Uh, for some it's obvious. If, for instance, if you're a um, racer, if you're going to be racing this thing, especially on a longer track, um, or if you're into freestyle and you want to do big moves where you need a lot of power, uh, you're going to want to get the 25K one. Uh, that's where it's at. That's uh, where this thing uh, shines. It puts out a, a lot of thrust for a small, lightweight quad. Uh, this is less than, uh, dry weight is less than 20 grams, and with a battery it's less than 28 grams. So um, it's a fantastic quad. It's the um, thing that's in this year. Uh, then if you're getting started, well, you probably want something slower than this. But uh, say if um, uh, you're newer to flying and you, you think uh, 19K will give you a little bit longer times, I would say go with the 19K one if you don't know. Uh, the big area is those in between these two groups. What do you want to get? Uh, well, with that, I'm going to do a uh, review of both of these, compare them side by side in a number of different things. First, I'll do a thrust test uh, so you see what the difference is on uh, peak thrust. Um, I will do a range test. Uh, spoiler alert, they turn out the same, but I, I wanted to check it out. They both made uh, the same distance within about 10 uh, feet of each other. And then I did a hover test to see how long they would hover. Uh, I was a little surprised of the results on that and uh, then I go off and I do a, a speed test around my playground track. So let's get started. 64 65 69 45 47 46 45. After the thrust test, we're now doing a range test. Um, a lot of people have not had good results with the SPI receivers, and I've had good luck. I use D8 mode. I'm using a FR Sky um, X Lite uh, radio, and I'm using um, for goggles uh, Fly Sky. Um, zero three o's um and we're coming up uh past this mailbox here this is about 165 um, meters into the flight um, the fence at the road is 300 meters if i can make that that's great uh, most of the um, 25 uh, milliwatt receivers have failed by about right in here, uh, less than 200 meters. And this one goes all the way out to 260 meters. The uh, 19K on the right um, uh, was a little bit faster, so uh, it, it fell to the ground earlier. But they both fell within about 10 feet of each other. I sped the video up 50% uh, so you don't have to watch it as long. And um, it turns out, um, surprisingly, I was surprised how close in times they were um, to each other. Um, it turns out the 25K is running a little bit higher uh, amperage. It's running between 5 and 6, and the 19K one is running between uh, 4 and 5. Uh, amps. 25k uh, model takes a lot less throttle. It's running around 40%. Well, the uh, 19k um, model is running uh, 50% and a little bit above. Um, the 25k model um, drops, um, or I shut that off. It took two hour, two minutes and 30 seconds. The 25k model took two and a half minutes uh, to drop the one volt and it used up 248 milliamps where the 19k model uh, ran for two, two minutes and 56 seconds almost three minutes and it used 250 milliamp hours almost the same amount of battery but it lasted uh, 26 minutes 26 seconds longer.
The next test is an outdoor speed uh, test around the playground track, which is about 500 feet long. Uh, the 25K model is on the left and the 19K model is on the right. Uh, you can see the um, throttle response on the right-hand corner of each screen. Uh, the 25K model is running around 40%, where the uh, 19K, I really pushed it hard on this one. I'm close to 100%, almost all the way around. So the 19K uh, model was um, about a half a second faster uh, because I was pushing it harder. We now on the screen you see a spreadsheet summarizing the results of the Mobula 6 and other um, toothpicks, tiny whoops, uh, and twigs that I've tested over the last six months. Uh, the, the spreadsheet is also shown in the link in a, the description below. You could click on that and um, see the uh, spreadsheet. Now for the hard part, which uh, version to get, the 25 or the 19K? If you're into aerobatics and you want to be able to have that extra power to pull out of a power loop, um, or if you're racing and you want that extra throttle to pass somebody near the end, you definitely want the 25K. If you're not into either of those and you just want to tool around the house and maybe race a couple friends, uh, the 19K one will work good and give you anywhere from 15 to 35 more seconds or so of flight time. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave those below. And uh, don't forget to click the like. And thanks for watching. This is John from Chicago.